Tell me how to make this right And get rid of these sleepless nights Just come back cause I learned my lesson No more missing So how would you describe your style of music then? My style of music? Yeah. Um, well, the style that I write, I sort of write all sorts. So I do like pop and dance and R&B. And, you know, I, I'm quite sort of a flexible writer. But um, in terms of actually singing, you know, I go for the sort of commercial stuff. So I stick to dance and pop, right. really. I can't help thinking about you. Baby, since you've been gone, it's not the same. So what sorts of other experiences have you had out there, then? Um, I've had a lot of... To be honest, I've done quite a lot of bad gigs. Um, I did um, a gig last year and I was supporting an artist which I probably shouldn't have been supporting. Um, so I was doing, you know, I was touring with um, someone that's sort of, you know, a gangster rapper and um, right. that's oh, quite obviously not really my style. So, you know, it was quite an intimidating gig, but at the same time, it did a lot for me, you know, and my confidence because. You know, I don't think gigs can get worse than that. You right. know, when you're on stage in front of loads of gangsters and stuff. So it's toughened me up a little bit, I think, that. When I do this for another chance To be next to you Cos all I know is I ain't gonna So what's the reception live. been like to all for you? Um, it's been alright. I mean, I'd like to be doing gigs more regularly, really. You know, I'd like to be getting some sort of every weekend, you know. And I'd like to be touring around, not just you know, the UK, but I'd like to go around sort of Europe touring and doing gigs and stuff. I think that would be awesome, just to build up your fan base and, right. you know, get your stuff out there a bit. I think that's the best way to do it. I think most of the times when people come across it, they probably think, well, you're just probably one of the backing dancers, the model. <gasps> and so how do you react to that? Um, I think it's, you know what, I think that's a good thing because people never expect you to be as good as what you are, yeah. you know. People always judge me um, and think, oh, she's just, you know, she's just another little girl that likes to sing yeah. kind of thing, you know. But actually, when I sing, I'm actually pretty loud. I've got yeah. quite a lot of power in here. I see, quite, quite a belting voice. <laughs> yeah. so that's the idea, really, really, mm. sort of switch people on to realising that you're not yeah. to be taken lightly, really. Yeah, I think it shocks people. And I think that's a good thing because they have a lot of respect for you when they actually hear you, what you can do kind of thing. Helpless without you. I'm helpless without As a songwriter, I, I do quite a lot of writing with um, producers in Liverpool, and they're called Rude Dog, so they're like a trio. They're also known as In Demand Music, so right. I do quite a lot of um, songwriting for them, you know, like writing lyrics and melodies for them, top lines. And, um, yeah, so I've done all sorts. I've done like an R&B ballad track, which is being pitched all around the world at the moment. Right. And I've done more like a... You know, like a Taylor Swift style country song as well. Really? So, like, that's quite interesting. Yeah, so I'm doing a variety of different things with them. Um, so yeah, that's called Give Me A Reason. And yeah, and I've written a song for a girl band as well. So there's like an up and coming raunchy girl band that they're putting together ah. at the moment. Can we know who like, that is? Um, it's very early days because so I've not got like a proper name right. yet. But but like they've like accepted my song that I wrote for them, so that's mm. cool. So since you've been gigging and you've been working hard at it now, mm. what would you say is your message to anybody else to inspire them to, to have a go at it as well? Um, I would say um, you need to sort of make music like your full-time job. You know, you need to be pushing it 24-7, you need to be doing gigs, you need to be um, get, trying to get... I think social networking is a key thing nowadays. I think Twitter... I've made a lot of contacts on there. Right. You can really get yourself out there on Twitter. Um, also Facebook a little bit, but not so much. Um, but yeah, no, I'd say get your stuff online, do covers, upload them on YouTube, stuff like that. You know, just really get yourself out there and push it. And where would your fans find you on Twitter? Heidi on Music, at Heidi on Music. Okay, brilliant. Helpless without you, I'm helpless without you. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Are you happy with that?